Hello, YouTube. You know what this means? You got it. It's another Golden Age Unboxing Gambling Edition. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Inside is one of my books that has been sitting on the shelf next to my workbench. This book has been sitting on the shelf since September 10th, 2021. I did look it up before we're going to open it to see what it was so I don't have to pause the actual upload. And this is definitely a book that falls within the gambling edition series. It seems that people like that series because I guess it's a little fun. There's a little intrigue to see if what I purchased is something that could be rehabbed or if there was another issue involved with the book in relation to gambling, whether I got a good deal or not. So we're going to find out right now. And let's see what the book is. So the book is, I'm sure everyone knows based on what I collect, they have a good suspicion what book may be inside. And let's see, are we ready? One, two, three, bom, bom, bom. Wiz Comics. 109. Now, this book right here I purchased from a seller on eBay that was, in fact, an antique dealer. So, another antique dealer purchase. And this book I paid $10 for with shipping. I looked back. Cheers, everyone. I'm having a bet. Excuse me. Ah, good. I like Beck's beer in the fall. So, I paid $10 for this book. Now, the reason why this is on my Gambling Edition series is that the seller said that he was uncertain whether this book was complete and he did not make any representations whether there were pages missing. So let's move the, car uh, the, the camera, open it up, and let's see what we got inside. And was this a good gamble, or did I crap out? So hang out, and let's move the camera. Okay, guys, the book is on my workbench. And I love my workbench, and I made this myself... I get a few questions in the past on Instagram, on eBay. How did I make this? These are four by four pressure treated posts that I glued together and screwed together. And I sanded it and I flamed it with a torch to make it look antique. And then I polyurethaned it. You can always tell to a degree a non-comic dealer. So if you just look at this bag, how scuzzy it is and disgusting. So this bag is gonna go right into the garbage. We don't wanna keep something like that. So this is a classic yellow cover. I can probably clean this up nicely. It's Captain Marvel with Savannah's ancestors because it looks like they're pilgrims Looks like they're pirates. Looks like they're buccaneers or wilderness people. So this is pretty cool. This is a cool book. It's added to my collection. It's from May 109, um, number 109. So the year is 1949. So this is still a book that is in the 40s. So that's a wonderful thing. For $10, how can you go wrong? So the big issue is whether this book is complete. So let's find out together. How many pages does this book have? 
Well, right here it says big 52 pages. So when they did this, I believe they considered the cover, the interior and the back cover and the interior of the back cover as well as pages. So let's thumb through. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, 35, 36, 37. So we have 37 pages here. I don't know if we have missing pieces. Well, based on the 52 pages, it appears that there are some centifolds that were missing. So unfortunately, it looks like I struck out with this one but I'm not so sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some research on this and I'll be right back. The numbers aren't very hopeful, but let's take a closer look. I'm gonna go online and we're gonna see if this is a full book. So hang out, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I just checked online and what I do is I read the books online because there's plenty of wonderful websites that have these books page by page. And unfortunately, my bet, I lost because it's missing eight pages from the centerfold. So this is a loss, guys. It's missing four wraps from the interior, but for 10 bucks, I can't go wrong. I still added another Wiz Comics to my collection. I will clean it up. Why not? It deserves to be cleaned up. And then I'll stick it in a bag and board with a note. And if I see a Wiz Comics 109 out there, coverless or missing pages, maybe I'll pick it up and we'll marry the two. So this is a future project. Stay tuned and Jerry the Jitterbug lost this gamble, but the stakes were only $10, so it's not that bad. Cheers, take care, and stay tuned.